bigger, better, bolder. That is what past President Ray Klingensmith promoted during his year as president. And essentially, he was telling us to organize high-impact projects, which are transformational. Let's not stop the things we already do, but as we move forward, we need to focus on much greater impact than we have done before. And, of course, we know that our most impactful project changing the world is the eradication of polio. In my district, Haiti has the most projects on a regular basis and needs the most. So, how did we become more transformative? First, we worked with all of the local clubs in the country to ensure that they were an integral part of the program. Then, we set a goal of potable water and good sanitation to every citizen in the country. That's eight million citizens. Our Rotary Hand Wash Group had to have government support and guidance, as well as partnerships with all the other NGOs doing water projects in the country without losing our identity. Then we had to find out exactly what are the needs in every commune in Haiti. So we partnered with the experts, Haiti Outreach, to map the water and sanitation needs in every one of the 147 communes in the country. The government supported us to such a degree that they started an agency with the responsibility to work with us, and we signed a collaboration agreement with this new agency, DINAPA. We ensured that our Water and Sanitation Rotarian Action Group, WASHRAG, was included as our expertise in the WASH area of focus. And we added the NGOs doing water projects on their own. And now we have a committee that meets electronically every single Wednesday morning to keep the process going. Now keep in mind, that currently Haiti is one of its worst moments in history. So we are paused, but we are not stopped. Transformation needs patience and unrelenting persistence. The message is that we must be open to partnerships and that we must continue to build on the trust and the respect that we have in all our communities. We could not have gotten this far without that level of respect and trust for Rotary. Now, Haiti is not the only region that is in need of impactful projects. We, as creative Rotarians, are you creative? Are you creative? Yeah. All right. As creative Rotarians, we can find many places where we could transform a community and change lives. In fact, Right here in the United States of America is another example of a transformative project. The mayors along the Mississippi River met last year to determine how they could work together with all the cities on the Mississippi to transform the territory along the river due to the danger from flooding to all the resources in that area. A significant amount of the world food supply comes from this region. Guess who they invited to join them? Yes, Rotary. They know that we could be that partner who is the catalyst for change for the future. Trust, respect, partnership. The Mississippi and Haiti are regions with big populations that are in need of change in a significant way and a new way of thinking. However, even the smaller countries and regions need us to be thinking about creative ways to make change. 
the Bahamas, my country, is one of the world's smallest countries in land size and is now faced with a need that goes way beyond our ability. If there isn't a global effort to rebuild, it will take 30 years to rec recover our northern islands. Now, I believe that Rotary should be a major part of that effort. Thank you. That might have been my wife who started that. <laughs> the monster Hurricane Dorian sat on our islands with winds up to 225 miles an hour, or 520 kilometers per hour, for 36 hours, and brought devastation to a level never seen before in our history. I've been through 14 hurricanes and enjoyed the hurricane party until it moved on, and then we helped to clean up afterwards. But this was different. This was traumatic. This has changed our whole country. And while we thought we were prepared, we were not. Most had no insurance due to the cost, so most do not have the financial resources to rebuild their business or their homes. The government was overwhelmed with the extent of personal trauma and property destruction. They have set up a new ministry to oversee the relief efforts and the recovery, but it has not moved at the pace necessary. There is an international cry for the government to do better for the 70,000 people who have been displaced in our northern islands. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe that they have moved us along, but just not fast enough. Meanwhile, Rotary in the Bahamas and around the world have jumped up and worked hard with immediate relief, moving evacuees, supporting shelters, bringing in supplies and food and water, as well as significant fundraising. Rotary has already done a number of fundraising events, including an art auction to raise millions of dollars locally and with help internationally. But considering we need $3.4 billion, it is a drop in the bucket. But it gives us the opportunity to do our part. We must think high impact as this is not a project, but a community transformation to rebuild the lives for almost 20% of our population. The government and the private sector see the work of Rotary everywhere. And they comment more than ever that they are so impressed with Rotarians who are working so hard. This visibility built on the same respect and trust that we see in other countries around the world. The government realized that they cannot handle the level of recovery needed while running the country. So they are passing a new law to set up a quasi-government corporate entity with the autonomy to take charge of the recovery efforts. They asked Rotary to help organize this new entity. Thank you. And Rotary is helping to bring together all of the private sector and the international NGOs such as some of the United Nations agencies, USAID, and many others. We will truly use our vision statement of togetherness to make this transformation. Our organization, your organization, has the respect and trust around the world from governments and from the private sector to a point that they are relieved when we come in to coordinate activities on a large scale, and they want to partner with us. We, therefore, have a responsibility to leverage our reputation to a much larger degree 
than we ever have before. Are you ready to transform our world? Are you ready to be the change agents for those in need? Let's think bigger than ever before. Let's think even better than we are used to. And let's be bold and audacious in our goals. Let's work together and unite other well-intentioned individuals in order to make our world a better place. That's each and every one of us stand up and transform our communities. Thank you for making our world a better place. Thank you.